For the first time, scientists have caught malaria parasites in the act, invading a human red blood cell. Using new image and cell technologies, they captured a detailed view of what happens when the parasite burrows through the cell's walls. Malaria kills a million people a year, and it's hoped this latest discovery will help develop new treatments. Just one bite can cause a debilitating illness or death. Preventative medicines are beyond the reach of many and even then are unable to provide full protection and the search is still on for a vaccine. However, Australian scientists say they've made a crucial step forward. They're now able to see how malaria parasites invade red blood cells. It's like putting on a pair of glasses for the first time and seeing things in detail that you've never seen before. It's very exciting for us. Thanks to the only super-resolution microscope in the Southern Hemisphere, scientists were able to capture in detail the malaria parasite at work. We can ask questions about the mechanics. How does the parasite hold on to the cell? How does it invade the cell? What happens once it's invaded the cell? Cell biologists say it'll make it easier to develop new treatments. We now have a, a, a reliable platform where we can screen the effects of, say, new drugs against malaria or the elusive vaccine if we're able to test antibody responses to malaria. Every year, almost 400 million people are infected by the mosquito-borne parasite. Two percent of babies who are hospitalised die. It's great to be part of the push to, to try and make a difference for this, and it's a long, slow process. Tracking the behaviour of the malaria parasite is just one discovery made possible by new imaging technologies. Bacteria and viruses causing infectious diseases are now also under the super-resolution microscope. Philippa MacDonald, ABC News.